Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, Arun can run one full round of a circular track in 6 minutes and Cyril in 15 minutes. If both Arun and Cyril start simultaneously from the same starting point, then how many times would they meet in the time Cyril has completed 10 rounds when running in same direction and in opposite direction. So what is the given question? Arun is running one round or full round of a circular track in 6 minutes. The time taken by Arun to run a full round of the circular track is 6 minutes and for Cyril the time taken is 15 minutes. So they are starting simultaneously from the same starting point and Cyril has completed 10 rounds. So Cyril has completed 10 rounds and by the time Cyril completes 10 rounds how many times Arun and Cyril has met each other under two situations. One they are running in the same direction and second case is they are running in the opposite direction. So by the time Cyril has completed 10 rounds, how many times Arun and Cyril have met each other? So how to do this? First you have to find out how many rounds Arun has completed within the same time. So how much time Cyril has taken to complete 10 rounds? Cyril takes 15 minutes to complete 1 round. So for 10 rounds the time taken by Cyril will be equal to 150 minutes. So 150 minutes will be taken by Cyril to complete 10 rounds. So what about Arun? Arun will be completing how many, ra how many rounds within this 150 minutes? Arun will be completing 150 divided by 6. Arun takes 6 minutes to complete 1 round. So Arun will be doing 150 divided by 6 is equal to 25 rounds within this 150 minutes. Or by the time Cyril completes 10 rounds, Arun will be completing 25 rounds. So now consider the situation when they are running in the same direction. So when they are running in the same direction, Arun is running and Cyril is also running. So how many times they will be meeting? For every round, Arun runs more than Cyril, they will be meeting each other. When they are running in the same direction, Arun has to run one round more. Arun has to run the entire length of the circular track in order to meet Cyril. So that means for every round which Arun has run more than Cyril, they will be meeting each other. So how many times they will be meeting? Cyril has completed 10 rounds and Arun has completed 25 rounds. So when they are running in the same direction, this Arun and the Cyril will be meeting for 15 times. So they meet, so 25 minus 10, they will be meeting for 25 minus 10 is equal to 15 times they will be meeting each other. How many rounds Arun has run more when compared to Cyril? So for every round which the Arun has run more than Cyril, they will be meeting each other. Arun has to complete one round full in order to meet Cyril. So 25 minus 10 or 15 times they have to meet each other when they are running in the same direction and opposite direction means what is happening for every round each one is running so Arun is running like this and Cyril is running like this for every round both this Arun and Cyril are running they will be meeting each other so you have to take the sum the sum of 25 and 10 opposite direction means 25 plus 10 is equal to 35 rounds. The total rounds run by the two persons is 35. So 35 times they will be meeting each other. The same direction they will be meeting. The difference of the rounds run by Arun and Cyril. So 15 times and when they are running in the opposite direction for every round run by either Arun or Cyril they will be meeting. So it will be the sum of the rounds run by Arun and Cyril which gives you 35 times. It is not 35 rounds sorry 35 times they will be meeting each other. Second question, Sumi and Smitha run around a circular track of length 120 meters at 12 meter per minute and 20 meter per minute respectively in the same direction. At how many points will Sumi and Smitha meet? So what is the given question? Length is given, length is equal to 120 meters and what is V1 and V2? What is the sp speed of sm Sumi and what is the speed of Smitha? So V1 is equal to 12 meter per minute and V2 is equal to 20 meter per minute. You have to find out they are running in the same direction. So how many points will Smitha and Sumi meet? So that is what you have to find out. The total length of the race is given. The speeds of Sumi and Smitha are given. How many times they will be meeting each other for the entire race? So here the 
shortcut formula for doing this is that the number of points of meeting so number of meeting points will be equal to first you have to find out the time taken to meet at starting point so time to meet at starting point divided by time to meet anywhere on the track so what is the time taken by sumi and smitha to meet at starting point the whole divided by time to meet anywhere on the track so if you are taking this ratio means you will be finding out the or if you are doing this division means you will be able to find out the number of meeting points so this is the thumb rule you can use for solving these kind of questions the number of points at which the two persons will be meeting around a circular track will be equal to the time to meet at starting point divided by time to meet anywhere on the track so what is the time to meet at starting point it will be equal to lcm of l divided by v1 and l divided by v2 which gives you 120 by 12 and 120 by 20 so that is the time to meet at starting point and time to meet anywhere on the track what you will be getting it will be 120 divided by the relative speed they are moving in the same direction so 20 minus 12 is equal to 8 so it will be lcm of 120 by 12 and 120 by 20 which gives you lcm of 10 and 6 which gives you 30 and 120 divided by 8 is equal to 15 so 30 divided by 15 is equal to 2 points so sumi and smitha will be meeting at 2 points during the entire race thank you for watching